Welcome back to the channel everyone, this is Stefan on the French Cooking Academy and this week we're going to be learning a new simple bistro recipe that's going to be veal steaks uh, cooked à la Lyonnaise uh, in the style of Lyon. Uh, so a very simple recipe to do as you can see with a lot of fresh ingredients and we're also going to touch base and try to understand what appellations are, in French they're called appellations, uh, which depict uh, specific ways of cooking in regional France. So if you want to learn a new recipe as well as improving your culinary education, Keep on watching. Welcome back. So let's talk about appellation. Hein? Appellation in France, you must know them already from uh, wines in France, like the Bordeaux appellation means a wine from Bordeaux. Well, food is exactly the same. Hein? You've got appellation, there's two definitions, there's two styles of appellation. The first one, the definition and appellation can be a set of strict ingredients that belongs to a style of cooking for a specific region, such as the Boeuf bourguignon, the appellation is the garnish. Okay, so boeuf bourguignon means a beef that has to have uh, in its composition mushrooms, onion, bacon, and red wine. Okay, and there are a set of dishes per region that when you give that name, they have to have these ingredients. Okay, that's one style of appellation. Then you got the less clear appellation, like today. And when you say, for instance, I'm going to cook these veal steaks à la Lyonnaise, meaning in the style of Lyon, the way it's made in this region. And so it's not really fine. There's different uh, styles that they use, but one of the prominent styles that I've seen when you're there, it's basically pan frying anything. It can be a frog, uh, it can be a, a veal steak, and you're going to serve it or cook it with onions, deglaze it with vinegar, and you're going to finish it with a whole lot of parsley and it is served in a bistro style meaning just the steaks on the plate with some garnish with some salad and that's it all the ingredients you'll find everything on the video description and let's discover that bistro dish huh, the veal steak à la lyonnaise and see how we can do this beautiful recipe now let's start the recipe my mise en place is ready i've pre-cooked my beans parsley has been chopped the onions have been finished up as well the vinegar has been measured, actually you don't need all that much, but I was just to show you the vinegar has to be ready. You got the tomatoes, I've got my butter and my meat has been trimmed and is ready in the fridge. So we're going to start by cooking the onions. So for this recipe, you always start with the onion because onions take 15 minutes to cook. So we're going to cook them first in butter. I'm taking a good nudge of butter up to 30 grams. We're going to melt it and then pour the onion in. All right, my butter is melted, all of the onions in. Now we're doing this because the meat takes a very short time to cook. Uh, so we're gonna pour this in the meat when it's cooking, but because an onion takes roughly 15 minutes to cook, and the meat might take just five minutes or something, maybe six minutes, it's very thin, we're gonna cook this for 10 minutes. Uh, so you just make the math, 10 minutes here, five minutes in the pan. And now for the meat, a bit of butter, uh, almost when it's noisette. I'm gonna put two or three of the cheese all the time bit of salt and pepper and just color them a little bit. But two minutes on each side, salt and pepper, that's it. Okay, one or two minutes. Now you just want a little coloring and that's it. Once my meat is done, I'm gonna add some onions. Okay, dry them up and then add the meat on top. I'm adding all of the meat in. And then we're going to make sure to mix that with the meat and just to coat it like this and that's going to be it. So as you can see, nothing special. Uh, I'm raising my heat a little bit. I've just got my meat cooking with the onion. I'm going to reserve my meat and we're just going to deglaze with a bit of vinegar and add some parsley. That's it. Okay, so now I'm removing, removing my meat and we're going to do the deglazing. All right, so you see it doesn't look like much. Uh, you've got only the onions. Uh, it's a bit burned. We're going to try to get this roasted a little bit get some coloring going and then a little bit of vinegar in there to catch all of these juices and put them into the onions and make some kind of an instant sauce that's all it is my deglazing is done heat off i'm gonna add a little bit of parsley uh, to mix the whole lot and we're gonna have our sauce all right all done so what's happening when you turn the heat off uh, look at this you see my pan? I've cleaned my pan and all of the taste and everything is in my puree of onion. And now we're going to be serving this on the dish. Very simple. Well done. So plating, huh? bistro style is always this unpretentious. I only have this, you know, large plate, but basically, and we're going to take these. We're going to add some of our meats. 
on here, the beautiful meats, and we're gonna cover after that with the sauce we have, the puree of onion. All right, so very, very simple. So I've got my puree of onion, and this is where everything goes together. And this is the, the bistro, the, the spirit of the bistro style, you see? A generous amount of onions. They are kind of caramelized with the vinegar, so you're gonna have a, a good hint of, uh, you know, punginess, and I, you know, we really want to plenty of those. A little bit, a bit of meat juices on top, maybe. All right, so I've moved the meat around so we can still see it, but I've got some meat juices here, maybe that we can use. Yeah, nice and juicy, and then add a little bit of salad. All right, so we want a bit healthy, so maybe a nice, nice tomato on the side. All right, and if we have a little bit of space left, I'll put a little bit of, you know, maybe a mixed salad on the side. And that's a typical, you know, this bistro style, that's what you get, huh? a bit of dressing. So, got my dressing here. A bit on the tomato, this is a parsley dressing. Nothing special, and bang, and that's it. You can finish off again with a little bit of parsley on top because, you know, it's a, it's a parsley base and vinegar dish. And that's it. You've got a bit of a platter uh, of a veal steak, Lyon style. All right, so as you can see, you know, it's not all about the presentation. It's not fine dining. It's just a platter with some food you go for lunch. So let's dig in. And uh, for instance, I'm gonna take one of these uh, little steaks over here. Just try to cut a piece on here. Yeah, nice and generous. And then you can have a little pureed onion on here. Mm. Uh, the vinegar really makes the dish. You know, this little puree, it's, it's really kind of tangy. So when you have the butter mixed with the onions and the vinegar, it's really much needed. It really adds a nice dimension to, to the dish. Yeah, very interesting. That's it, guys, for the appellation of the uh, style of Lyon. There's many, but one of those, uh, using the parsley, the vinegar, and the onions, is going to really bring you uh, a new dimension. And if you have never tried this, you can use this with veal, uh, with beef, and other types of, uh, of meat. You can even use fish if you wanted to. It's all the matter of having these three ingredients. But as always, guys, if you have any questions, uh, drop me a comment in the comment section. And if you make the dish, you can share your pictures on Instagram, hashtag FrenchCook. Academy, you can become a patron on my Patreon page. And don't forget, we've got our new course, French Dessert Essentials, is just out. So if you're really keen on making dessert, well, check it out. I'll put all the details in the video description. Take care all, I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.